Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today this is going to be a full moon reading for you guys that we are having, I believe, on February the 23rd. Um, this is going to be a really short and sweet reading, kind of last minute impromptu. I was called to do this reading, so we are going to see if I can do this before my next session. So, removing all negative energies and entities and any negative energies entities and evil eye from your space and mine thank you it is done it is done and so it is i have already pre-shuffled uh oracle decks and um i will cut them on camera so first one bottom of the deck before i cut it says message card number 33 which for me is all about you know the divine uh so some of you guys might be getting messages you know in your dreams maybe in meditation something like that and then cutting the deck, you guys can't even make this up. Um, I also have new life. Um, if you haven't watched the other video that I did um, in regards to the Mars Venus conjunction, you might want to watch that because new life is here as well. So some of you guys might have a message coming in in regards to a new beginning, new beginning in health, in, you know, love, like a relationship. It could be in a career, a new job, something like that. Um, and for others of you guys top of the deck we have talisman this is like the key the key to something the key to this new life you guys are going to be getting a message that is the key to a new life very straightforward message there you guys okay bottom of the Tao deck so happy uh chinese new year actually these cards are really descriptive so i'm going to cut the deck before i look at that um happy chinese new year i forgot to mention that uh to you guys um you know before but we have treading, conduct, self-awareness, proceed with caution and sensitivity, correct behavior, and act responsibly. I feel like whatever you're dealing with, this is talking about, you know, going forward, um, being very aware of your surroundings, of your environment. This is also talking about acting very responsibly. Um, you know, we all have that, you know, saying tread thoughtfully. Okay, so this is saying, um, you know, to be very aware aware of whatever situation it is that you're dealing with okay and then you guys have um top of the deck taming the power of the great self-discipline concentration strengthen your character from within self-awareness realizing potential okay you guys so this is really realizing um you know the power that you have this is meditating this is concentrating um this is you know strengthening your in inner self your um finally becoming self-aware realizing your potential here okay um what i'm getting with this you guys is kind of like what i heard as i was reading it was if i got distracted that was why this is the key the key is going within the key is knowing your power um that is the key to having this new life i just heard okay so the message is going to come through for many of you actually during a meditation with that card because two came out um when i grabbed the top of the deck was a difficulty in the beginning this also was um i believe it was for libra in the uh reading that i did uh for mars and venus growing pains doubts and fears awkwardness becoming stronger vulnerability and inexperience okay so i feel like some of you guys this could be like a new job new relationships you have these doubts these fears you know you're unsure about things um you might be treading thoughtfully you know because of that this is saying that really this is just have trust and faith this is just because this is something new and different but you guys anchor yourself within have trust and faith within if you are trying to manifest and create this is saying to go within and that is how you do it all right Melos. so let's pull some messages from the tarot all right messages and guidance please for the collective for the full moon now full moons typically are about releasing things um you may need to let you know um some ideas go maybe it is working on your shadow self right 
Um, maybe it's knowing your power. Maybe it's, you know, you guys, I, I get the sense of like maybe some insecurity, some lack of, you know, uh, confidence, uh, self-worth issues. If that is, you know, based on the cards that came out, if that is something that you're dealing with, you guys, I'm also having my self-love embodiment workshop. Um, I will post the link in the description box below. That's going to be on February the 23rd at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. It lasts for about two hours or a little longer towards the end. There will be question and answer period uh, as well. It's on Zoom. I will be recording it and sending you guys uh, the recording after as an added bonus. And it is less than one, uh, one hour session with me that you would have. All right, my loves. So trying to give you guys some love, make it affordable. But you guys at the core of most issues is typically, you know, self love and self worth issues. All right. Messages and guidance for the collective for the full moon. And one more. All right, my loves. Seven of Pentacles, waiting or investing. All right. Yeah, you guys, this has to do with self-love as well. Like I said, oh, that card wanted to come out. Okay, yep. <laughs> having confidence and strength within yourself. Oh, this is beautiful. You guys. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Center of your spread. Nine of pentacles. This is talking about self-love. This is my confident, self-assured businessman or woman. This is having luxury. This is being very independent. Okay. This is what you know, is the situation. Page of Wands. This is having, you know, that new spark, new enthusiasm. You might be, you know, connecting to somebody new here. Uh, what is hidden that you are not aware of is Ten of Pentacles, you guys. This could be about your legacy. This is my higher level of commitment card. So this could be about legacy in work. This could be a higher level of commitment. In the recent past, Three of Pentacles. This is also a commitment card. This is working together, collaborating. This could be in work. This could be friendship. This could be collaborating with the universe to co-create, uh, you know, and create the life that you want. But this is also um, talking about, you know, uh, working together to take things to, you know, a higher level of commitment. Your advice is the moon to go within, to dive deep in your subconscious mind. There could be things there, like I said, that need to be released uh, that no longer serve you uh, in your subconscious, but also this could have to do with fears. So for many of you, like I said, it could be releasing fears, right, that are in your subconscious or working on subconscious, um, you know, beliefs in regards to your self-love here, okay? <clears throat> and self-worth and your identity as well as what I got from this card. And then potential alchemy, guys, we have the temperance. This is alchemy. This is also for me, temperance is hope. This is also saying to be patient. This is mixing, you know, um, heaven and earth, right? So like uh, 3D realm and 5D realm, you know, doing what is necessary to manifest and create for others of you guys. Like I said, this could be healing or this is you just needing to be patient. Okay. Um, and when I clarify that we have the charity, a chariot. So this is moving forward. This is, um, success and victory moving forward. You guys will also have this, um, high priestess. So this is talking about physical action and this is internal action. This is success and victory in regards to your, um, you know, internal world here. This is your intuition. We also have King of Wands here. So the King of Wands is all about, um, uh, you know, having that confidence. This it could be entrepreneur. This could be somebody coming in uh, for you. Um, also strength. This is internal strength. This is having that external strength and internal strength. This is the visionary as well. So this could be a person coming in for you that is gaining strength to really have the confidence maybe to uh, connect with you. This person could be very spiritual or you are. This is also saying it is a spiritual connection and you guys are going to move forward. If this has to do with something else, apply it how it resonates. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, what you're not aware of or don't see coming 
coming is an offer. This is a brand new opportunity, you guys. You don't see that this is your legacy. This is everything. This is you guys being successful, victorious, having the home, the family, the health, the wealth, right? The relationship, the commitment. Okay, you guys. Um, so this is an offer coming in either of a queen of cups. So somebody who's very intuitive, spiritual, uh, mother energy. Remember, it, take it how it resonates, male or female. We all embody both energies. Doesn't really matter. But this could be uh, somebody who's very empathic, very nurturing, very loving. Or this is an offer coming in of somebody sharing the, their love with you. Okay. This is somebody that has feelings for you, all right? Uh, could be coming in with an offer or an opportunity. And what I'm seeing with the two of wands, it is something that you have prayed for is what I am getting, okay? That you have been waiting for. We also have four of swords um, and nine of swords. So this is saying for you to work on healing your fears, okay? Um, because you have nothing to worry about, okay, you guys? Because we also have the queen of pentacles. Uh, and then the eight of pentacles. So this is saying work on feeling self-assured, work on being abundant, work on nurturing yourself to remove, you know, these fears, to heal these fears as well. And you guys, love is on the way to you, or this is an opportunity of love being poured onto you from the universe. Okay, you guys, if this is a relationship or, you know, a career or whatever it is, there is going to be so much love in this. Um, but I am seeing a connection here for a lot of you guys okay and what I'm seeing is like king of wands queen of cups so somebody who's very much a visionary an entrepreneur uh, a go-getter somebody who's attractive uh, and then somebody who's very empathic loving nurturing okay very much balanced energy here okay so fire and water as well all right so that is a beautiful reading you guys and a final card i'm pulling from my archangel metatron okay bottom of the deck codependency key to freedom okay card number 53 i am going to read that one and then you guys can't even make this up we also have um as above so below heaven and earth sorry guys i need my glasses struggling to read okay 41 as above so below we'll read that one first you are reminded that the rewards of heaven are accessible to you now here on earth so this is talking about um you know manifesting and creating okay so that's that alchemy card your your outcome was the temperance right as above so below um also that is twin flame energy so that could be a, a little nod for some of you guys key to freedom codependency you are asked to look at a relationship or situation in your life and see that what started out as support and comfort has become suffocating to you both so are you guys being codependent on each other i'm also getting that for many of you guys what i'm getting is not that really my thing that i'm getting is many of you guys look at yin and yang energy very balanced look at the two trees in both cards this is talking about balancing masculine and feminine energies within you but also within your connections and for the full moon, this is letting go and releasing anything that keeps you captive in this in this codependent state. All right, my loves. Okay, and then top of the deck, you guys. We have review and reflection. Card number two, time out needed. Look at that, you guys. Full moon energy. This is saying to really spend time going within and resting, recovering, but also trying to figure out what you need to release, what you need to heal. Card number two, links to the moon, our subconscious self, the feminine energy, illumination and reflection. Spend time in the full moon and meditation to see what it is that you need to release. Some of you guys, this is the mother wound. For others of you guys, this is talking about tapping in more into your feminine energy. Okay, you guys, maybe doing a full moon ritual, something like that, but definitely connecting to the moon, especially during this full moon. All right, that is what I have for you guys. Thanks so much for being here. I really enjoyed doing this. Don't forget to do all the things like comment down below, share this video with anybody you think might enjoy it. And also, so you guys, uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly family. And don't forget, you guys, when you do one or any number of these things or all of these things, it truly is the best way to support me and my channel to help my channel to grow and to get spirits messages out there. Okay. And don't forget, I am extending my private 
uh, readings uh, launch promotion sale until February the 23rd, including that day as well. So please take advantage of that because it is at a much lower cost. Uh, the link will be in the description box below for that as well as for my self embodiment um, self-love embodiment workshop that I'm having February the 23rd, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Link in the description box below, less than even one hour session with me and it's on Zoom. You'll also get the recording even if you can't attend. It is a wonderful thing to have. All right, my loves, thank you so much and I wish you all peace, love until next time. Bye-bye.